Hi, internet peeps. What's up? I'm really tired. I just got into my hotel room in New York City. What? I said I would try vlogging this trip this time. Train ride was good. Really good, actually. No, like, really, really good. I didn't get anxious. Well, no, lying. Okay, I didn't get as anxious as I did the last time. Um, but I did have a little bit of a panic attack. Um, about in the last 40 minutes of the tr uh, train ride. I think I was just get getting tired and I was sick of being on the train. <laughs> like, just get me off this freaking train! <laughs> but I'm here now, and my audition is tomorrow. I can't tell if I really uh, uh, could eat a lot right now. I am hungry, but I don't know. I think I might still be a little tense. But, excuse me, I'm yawning like this and I feel like I could fall asleep and it's only 6.30. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's do a little, uh, hotel room tour, shall we? I haven't even explored in it yet. I literally just walked in, uh, five minutes ago. So you come over here, lovely door. It's a lot smaller than the last one. Because there's a wall. Here's the wall. The other one I had like um, a little chair next to the bed right there. But I mean, it's a comfy bed and a TV and a desk and a bathroom. I really can't complain. Um, so yes, they have the lovely bed with all my crap over there. Um, and to our right, we have the nice little desk and the TV. And in here, we have the closet. Oh, looks like I got a little, can't see, but there is a little ironing board and an iron. There's a refrigerator and, of course, a safe in case you want to put some of your special safe stuff, safe stuff in the safe. Uh, let's see, the view. I got the back alley again. Oh, oh, there's people. There's people in the office. I better not spy on them. I'm sorry. I'm watching you. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Okay, uh, bathroom. Uh, clean. Hello. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, aww. It's just a shower. I was hoping it was a shower bath, but that's a pretty nice shower glass door. Ooh. Wait, does it? Ooh. I like this. I'm in my own little glass box. Woo. This is actually, I, I've never had a walk-in shower like this before. This is, this is fantastic. Oh, can I have this? I want this shower. Ooh, I feel special. And that's it. That, that's all that's in my hotel room. Like, I don't know, what's this? I don't know why this is on the side of the um, closet. Probably shouldn't push on it too much. I might break something. Anyway, um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do. I, I want to go to the Empire State Building. Um, I know I'll be doing that probably later in the afternoon because the audition starts at 10. Signing in starts at 9, and it was really good that I went in early the last time, too. So if I could get there around 8-ish, then that would be good. And whenever I'm done, I don't know how long it's going to be this time. I don't really think there's going to be much that I'm going to be able to film. So we'll kind of see. Apparently I didn't close the doors on the closet all the way. Um, Yeah, so I guess we'll kind of see see what tomorrow brings. It's a little bit later in the same night. I was going to say later in the day, but um connect connect to my connect to my internet. It's not my internet. Hi. So, I went downstairs. Um but before that, I am now comfortable in the bed. I've got my computer on. It's just now trying to figure out the Wi-Fi here and I got this pizza. And I got it from the restaurant that's downstairs in the hotel. Move my phone. And the guy that, um, sorry guys, I'm going to rub my eyes and I'm sorry if my makeup goes everywhere. Um, 
But I went downstairs and got my pizza, and the guy downstairs, Mario, he was very nice, very helpful. And it was, it's actually very funny because even though I'm from Virginia, I don't think of myself as having an accent, but I guess, I guess I stick out here, um, you know, because I'm in New York, you know, and he definitely had a New York accent, but he was a really nice guy. But I always meet such nice people when I come up here. I don't know what it is, but I can't complain. I like I like having nice people. So let's let's kind of look at the look at the pizza. I just opted for regular cheese because I wasn't really too sure how my stomach was. Kurtz. Oh my gosh. Look how cheesy that is. Mmm. Yum 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 yum. And then for drinks, um I got a nice Tropicana apple juice. I love my juice. Um, and I got a little carton of milk, so in case I want to drink something before I go to bed, I can have a nice little carton of milk. And that's that. Now I'm going to eat my pizza. I'm going to eat my pizza. I'm going to watch some YouTube. <gasps> Is that Coney Jolie? <gasps> Two days ago. Why didn't that show up in my feed? Need to watch. Good morning, Internet peeps. It is Monday morning, day of audition. I am dressed and prepped, as you can tell. Show you guys what I decided to wear. I did not notice this last night when I was vlogging, but apparently I have a full length mirror behind my bathroom door. Um, so I'm just being plain Jane today. I'm just wearing this nice, very comfortable, uh, I'm gonna say like a t-shirt dress, only because it has like that cottony material that I like. Um, I got it at Charlotte Bruce, and I like my little bow sleeves. Um, then I'm wearing my no boundaries buckled boots, heel boots, and then I just have my standard cross necklace on. Um, and the hair, hair is up in a ponytail today. And I got my makeup on. I don't have my lipstick on because I haven't, <clears throat> haven't had breakfast yet. So yes, that is just the simplistic outfit of the day. And oh, ignore messy bed. And I just went very simple for breakfast. Um, got a nanner, uh, just some corn pop cereal, of course, a little carton of milk to go with that, and a strawberry yogurt. How's it gonna eat? It is 7.40 right now, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna start heading towards the studio. These parts where the wall is higher because I'm terrified of heights on the edge. So let's try to. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. 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 Look, I see people ice skating. It must be Rockville Center. Hello, people! a little windy out there. So we came back inside. Still some excellent views though. 
focus 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 now that makes me think that that whole shot was on focus Building, 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 building. Guys, Central Park, Central Park is right there behind that building. It's there. It's there. Good morning, internet peeps. It is Tuesday, March 1st, aka my last day in New York City. <laughs> That was probably a really ugly face I just pulled. I'm sitting in my hotel room in my bed. I just finished eating some breakfast. I had some French toast, which was really, really, really yummy. And some milk. Um, I have a little bit of milk left over because I have medicine I need to take, so. <coughs> Excuse me. I just now, like five minutes ago, I started having this coughing fit, and I don't know why. I still need to finish packing. Um... <clears throat> If I show you my bed um, <laughs> right now, after, whilst I was eating, I was watching some of Zoe's older vlogs. So, um, yeah. But as you can see, I have, that's all the stuff that needs to go into my bigger bag uh, for traveling. And I also got some of this yogurt again. And this naked um, Mighty Mango. I love Naked. I really am a huge fan of the strawberry banana. I've tried the mango, blah, blah, the mango, the mango. I've tried the mango uh, once before and I really like it. I just love Naked. I think they're really good. I like that it's really all natural. There's no sugar added. There's one and one fourth mangoes, half an orange, one and three fourths apples, a third banana, and a hint of lemon. And that's it. So I need to put those in my bag so that way on the train I have little snacks that I can just pop it I mean train has a dining car but um you know sometimes you want to save your money I'm gonna relax for the next probably the next hour and a half I'm gonna just chill out and um, finish packing and then I have to check out and go to the train station I'm so sad whilst I have you and I'm almost forgetting about this. The audition was okay. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot more people this time than the last time. Last time I would say there were about uh, maybe 50 girls, something like that. This time, um, because they were looking for male and female roles, there was um, <clears throat> over a hundred. Um, because I remember one of the girls, her name was Leah, and she said she was like, number 104 or something like that and I was I was in the 40s I wasn't really paying attention to which number I was yeah so there, there was a lot more that room was really filled up and I got a little confused um, I don't really want to say lost because I wasn't lost but basically Pearl Studios has um, you know two different locations they have uh, you know and they're each across the street so I went to the one building and while stuff was in the elevator of the one building I looked over and luckily they had these uh, little sheets on the side of the elevator and it said you know oh for da -da 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 audition for Tokyo Disney is across the street and I was like damn it <laughs> so I had to go across the street and so I got there a little bit later than I wanted to but it worked out because I got to sit next to, well, technically there was a person in between, but anyway, I got to meet, um, his name is Malcolm, and he is so funny, so sweet, um, found out that we, of course, are musical nerds, and also found out that he is a fellow anime otaku, so we were just like chit-chatting away and laughing and singing to each other, you know, whilst we were waiting for our turn. And yeah, so we're buds now. Hey, Malcolm. Hey. That was really weird. Totally fallen in love with New York City. I used to be a little bit more afraid of it when I was a child and an early teenager. I still say that it's just a larger version of DC. It's just bigger than Washington DC and I'm pretty used to Washington DC so I think that's why I'm really not anxious when I'm walking the streets. 
I'm just anxious when I'm on traveling and trains and stuff like that. <laughs> I would love to move here. I mean, right now is not really a smart time because A, I don't have the money, and B, I don't really have that big of a plan. So it's not very smart of me to move right now, um, but maybe in the future or if I win the lottery. <laughs> All right, I need to stop jibber jabbering. I gotta take my medicine and finish packing and then I will be on the train. I'm really bummed, but gotta go back to Virginia. There's work to do.